Fascinating. Thank you for that. Well, time to head back. Really gotta work on sticking to la- uh, <coughs> Oh, hey there, people. Welcome all to my new research location, which I am borrowing. And boy, has my research confirmed the last details I needed to know. Now allow me to share you my shards of wisdom to you on a certain ferry. Lyrical, roll title. Kokiri Forest, a place where forest children live with their guardian fairies, who are, well, their guardians, obviously. The Kokiri aren't allowed to leave the forest, nor are their fairies, and yet, one boy leaves the forest, and one fairy accompanies him. Link and Navi leave the forest together to stop the threat of Ganondorf. Well, we learn in a way that Link is in fact a Hylian, and that he became a resident of Kokiri Forest when his mother fled from the Civil War into the forest and sadly enough passed away and in the process either became a house, a deku stick or a tree depending on what source you go with. Link grew up without any fairy protecting him, making him sort of an outcast among the Kokiri. Yet when Link has to set out on his quest, the deku tree assigns a fairy to him, Navi or Navi or Navigator, whatever, it's an annoying thing to say. Now, this ain't surprising as Link was ferryless, but why now? Why not earlier? Why was Navi not allowed to be with Link during his younger years? After some speculation, the answer turned out to be very simple. So listen to this. Navi can be seen as naggy, but caring, annoying, and constantly forcing Link forward, but at the same time assisting him. Navi knows a lot of the world, and yet never left the forest before this. Navi even tells Link to take a break during the remake on the 3DS version, but this could be a thing Nintendo added, as they do this a lot during the 3DS era of games. While I can rule out Navi knowing a lot of the world without leaving the forest as fairy stuff, as we've seen fairies always seem to know who Link is before he even meets them, and they always help them out without a second thought, so there's clearly some sort of fairy magic going on with that. The behavior of Navi and the wording seem to have a slight emotional tone to it. Just look how she tries to wake up Link. That shows some character clearly. While Tattle in Majora's Mask has a lot more personality and seems more of a begrudging type. I mean, just look at how they first meet. She just punks him in the head and he just forces him to bring her back to Skull Kid. I am to believe Navi isn't just your regular fairy, but is in fact Link's mother. <laughs> Whoa, 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 before you say, like, what in Nehru's name are you saying? I mean, come on, Link is not a descendant of a fairy. His mom was a Hylian. Well, stick with me, please. So yeah, we keep hearing Link's mother turned into a Deku stick, a house, or a tree, as the rules of the forest dictate that no Hylian may enter and no Kokiri may leave. But I believe her spirit was saved by the Deku tree and turned into Navi. Maybe we have some sort of divine deal or anything? But we do know that certain sources state that Link's mother has succumbed to her wounds and has passed away in front of the great Deku Tree himself. And if Link's mother is Navi, this is also a reason why she isn't allowed to be around Link during the younger years. As a mother, she would try to smother the child or weaken his resolve or even tell anyone that Link is a special boy or even tell him that he's actually a Hylian which is a risk the Deku Tree couldn't take, and thus only when it was time for Link to leave the forest would Navi be able to guide him till he was grown into a full adult and the world is safe. Which happens at the end of Ocarina of Time. This explains why she suddenly had to leave. I also did hint this in my Ganondorf was good video, so check that out if you have some time. I put a lot of effort in and the sequel is already being produced, so do not worry about that. Anyhow, to back this theory up a little, 
We know that the Lost Woods turns Wanderers into Stalfos, and if they are a child or a Kokiri, into Skull Kids. So wouldn't someone else who stays too long in Kokiri Forest turn into something else? I mean, it happens with Link's mother in some sort of way. We also do see a lot of lights fly around in Kokiri Forest. Could they also be people who wandered through Kokiri Forest and turn into fairies of some sort? Are the fairies just outsiders assigned to the Kokiri to help keep it safe? And was Navi an exception? Who knows? We might go further into that subject someday. But as for now, this was my Shards of Wisdom on Navi. Leave a comment below and tell me what your Shards of Wisdoms are on this theory. See you around and remember to stay charged.